I'm here with Randy Ori, head coach of the Cougar football team. And today, looking back at the loss to Benedictine University on Saturday, um, Randy, despite the final score, the Cougars got off to a good start in this game. Um, an 88-yard touchdown drive. That had to be one of the longest, I think, of the season so far. And um, it just seemed at that point as if uh, a lot of different things were going to click for the Cougars. Well, you know, we were very pleased with the first quarter and even the first half. Uh, it was a good football game. Uh, things got away from us a little bit. I think when we threw that pick for six, that really just took the air out of our sails. And, you know, we had a, a pick that we returned for a touchdown, but it got called back. You know, we, when you look at some of the things that we did, that to, again, to shoot ourselves in the foot, I thought the first quarter we came out, played great football, we did a great job on defense, um, held them, made them punt to us, offensively drove it down the field and scored. Um, it was a real good setting. We even got a two-point uh, conversion off of our muddle huddle. That worked, so everything was clicking. Um, you know, and then again, you know, the young mistakes and the situations that have bitten us all year long just comes up and gets you. And by the time you're in the third quarter, you're trying to play catch up. And now when you're playing catch up, the problem is they've got you on the ropes and you're trying to do things you don't normally do. If we could have gone back to a close game where we're able to just drive the ball and sit on uh, some things, we've been able to, uh, I think, stick with them. But once the score got a little lopsided, then it, it, we just started taking chances and then it got out of hand. One of the things uh, noticeable in the last couple weeks um, is that you're, you're getting uh, more use now out of a couple of your uh, young running backs. Uh, Jakari Kamen had uh, 76 yards uh, rushing the other day. Uh, very nice game for him. And then you've also been working uh, Tion Posey into yeah. some situations. Well, you know, Jakari's a sophomore. Uh, Tion's a true freshman. So again, you know, they're very young as far as the game of football. They've got a lot of years left to play. I thought Tien's done a great job in, his spe in the special teams units. And Jakari's coming on too. He's playing some different special teams now. So one of the things that's the bright spot of the future is the fact that we've got a lot of young guys getting a lot of experience. You know, when you go across the board defensively, we have one guy that plays that's not a freshman or sophomore. Offensively, we have a couple that are not freshmen and sophomores. So pretty much the whole team that's playing right now are true freshmen or uh, with just one year experience sophomores. So the future looks good. I thought, you know, when you, when you look at a football game, obviously the score doesn't indicate how you played. I thought the Cougars played hard. They kept after it. We had some great hits. They made some nice plays. We did some good things. You know, the things that we didn't do we've got to correct and we've got to get better at, but those are the things that are young mistakes and things that we did, um, you know, that just hurt you when you do it in an untimely manner. You know, so good teams don't make those mistakes and that's the difference right now where we're at. It's not a lack of effort. I thought our guys came out and played very, very hard and they played hard throughout the whole game. Uh, the other coaching staff were very complimentary to our guys as far as how they just kept after it. So, you know, they're playing hard learning a lot, and getting better every week. And along those lines, Randy, I'd like to ask you about uh, one of the defensive players that's um, uh, kind of been modeling that lately, and that's uh, Nick Hostetler. Now, Nick had to sit out all last year to injury, so he's a sophomore uh, academically, but uh, basically a freshman on this year's team. Uh, and uh, Saturday's game, it just seemed his, his number was getting called a lot. Right. Well, Nick did a real nice job. And again, you know, last year he had a shoulder injury. He had to rehab it. He wasn't, he never suited up at all. He never even practiced one day. So he's come a long way when you think about it. He's really a freshman when it comes to the, uh, the game of football. And I thought our whole linebacking core, I thought A.J. Seidler did a really nice job. Sang Lee did a nice job. Uh, again, all three of them are sophomores. Um, again, Nick's only a freshman, really. But And then in our secondary, I thought Tyson Birch had a great game. And then Mike Bailey's been a great leader and captain of that team on the defense. And, uh, you know, he's the only upperclassman we have back there. So, so I was pretty proud of the effort that they gave defensively. Um, you know, we just, we let up a couple of things and they hit us on a couple posts on the backside. Um, that hurt us. But, 
you know, again, those are things that when you're taking chances and having to blitz and get after people, then you're going to give up something because we had to try to get back in the ball game because it's got the score got a little lopsided. All right, now this Saturday, the Cougars will be at Aurora University, the second of uh, three straight road games. Um, Aurora, traditionally a tough team. They're coming off losses right now to Benedictine and to Lakeland. Uh, what are what is some of the things that you see from Aurora? Well, they go multiple formations. I think they've got a good quarterback, a big, strong offensive line. That's probably between their offensive line and their defensive line. That's their strengths. They got two great safeties, probably two of the best in the league. Uh, so I think it's you know we're going to have to be able to try to run the ball. Um, obviously, um, you know, try to stay away from those two safeties because I, I think they're the best two in our in, in our league, and they do some real good things back there. So we've got uh, we got our work cut out for us, and we've got to go go over there because again, uh, we got a three game stint that we got to go away. So it makes it tough, but you know, it's it, the good thing is it's a 45 minute drive, so we're not going too far. But an away game, stone away game, and you got to prepare a little bit different, and there's a different feel when you get out there. All right. Randy, thank you for your time this morning. Uh, wish you a great week of practice and a uh, great game at Aurora this Saturday.